But it is the whistle of the referee to get them underway. In Georgia and Armenia. As you said, Saduliev into that final. Schneider awaits. And Katoyev, originally from Russia, uh, now wrestling for Armenia. He's been, a, you know, he's been a little bit everywhere. He was a, a bronze medalist for Russia in 2012 in the Olympic Games. Um, Two-time Olympian, nothing to sneeze at. But nothing to shout about for either of them at the moment. Both men standing up, stock still and steady. No fingers. Odikadze looking for angles, a bit of a finger in the face there. For Ketoyev. No foul active, okay? So first, first passivity on the board, again, first 45 to 50 seconds, you're going to see that. Ketoyev with a great shot, right into his attack, then transitioned, was going for that gut wrench on the out-of-bounds. So two points on the board for Ketoyev of Armenia. And he changes his level for a big man really fast. As you say, changes the level, changes the scores as well. Can Ode Kante do by way of response? He's got a lot of time to do it. The power at the moment, evident from Ketoyev as he forces the Georgian to the mat once more. Both wrestling fairly flat-footed, a lot of upper body pushing and pulling, uh, but I was very impressed with Katoyev when he decided he wanted to go for a shot. To the neck. He changed okay. his level Active and went well. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Odeki Odekaize uh, do something similar. Obviously, he probably works out with Petrovili, um, you know, and works on those no big man level changes. Yeah, as you said, Petrovili, the star man, Yesterday in the 1 2 5 grouping, what the Kadze trying to add Open. another bronze medal to that tally for Georgia. But it's Ketoyev. He's got that change of direction, he's got that change of level. But no spare change at all for the Georgian. Nothing doing. And the referee Ed, intervenes. This foul. Next time, caution two points, okay? Told again. So he's saying caution two points. Nice step out point for Odakadze. He said he was if he had both of his fingers, both of his hands locked around the neck of uh, Katoyev. So if you were locked, interlocking fingers behind the neck, um, then they could call you for caution and two there. It's more of like a Muay Thai type of hold than it is a wrestling um, hold. Well, not so much Muay Thai as all tied up here. Two, one, close battle. Tries to change the level, does Odekadze, but nothing doing. Protecting the boundaries there. Goes for it again. Better hold. But the clock is going to tick down. Has he got enough time to get the two-point takedown? He does not. Again, on that go-behind, Katoyev was, was dead to rights, getting behind him. As soon as Odekadze found, found, uh, felt the change of, direct, or change of pressure, he's able to get to his feet, never... Uh, was going down to his elbows or his head. Which great wrestling position by the big man from Georgia. Well, it's been aggressive. It's been a show of athleticism and speed. Not much to separate them. I just love the fact that the way that Katoyev kind of faked a, du a duck under to the left side and then came back around with his right arm um, with a beautiful seat belt. A la Nate Carr without the duck under in the un, un, under the arm, but a great change of direction. We're trying to change the direction of the bout now. Odikadze needs to find something he's not managed so far. Not been free scoring by any means. Has one step out point. Tries to get the leg this time. Snuck downstairs. Nice fake there. Ketoyev does well using that imposing physique to drag the last vestiges of energy away from Odikadze. Odikadze was able to defend against the, the wrist tie of Katoyev. 
Now, again, he feels like he needs to be more offensive, maybe trying to get a, uh, a, a passivity call. Uh, and so he's being a lot more offensive in this second period is Odakadze. And the referee trying to get them both going here. Last couple of minutes in the offing. Odakadze battling. Ketoyev. He's not had it all his own way so far, the Armenian. Both men just grinding it out here. World Championship bronze at stake. No fingers. And the official saying, you know, don't grab fingers. Don't pull both hands behind the neck. He should be saying more offense. Yeah, there's been not too many whistles blown for passivity here. Make a case for both men, just a bit of a stalemate here. Who's going to find the answer? And the knowledgeable crowd here, they are also understanding of what's required here. No one wants to make a mistake as we crawl slowly into the last minute. Or they can't see trying to look busy, not really doing anything. Both men head faking. Separates them, stands them up again, shoots for the leg this time. Odekadze had to go for it. Katoyev does a great job with that chest lock and a nice sprawl. Staying on his knees and not making an attempt to go behind because Odekadze has been so good at defending that go behind. So he just holds on for no action. Nice left arm, head on the outside, high crotch by Odekadze. He's going to need to get his knees up underneath of, you, of him. Katoyev is happy just to hold on and not give up points instead of looking to score there. Odakadze is going to need to hit and finish immediately. He's doing a nice job, a little peek out on the right-hand side. Underhook by Katoyev has been stopping Odakadze from getting to an angle. I'm very surprised we haven't seen uh, another passivity call. His feet are out, he's off his knees, and that is a uh, step-out point. And criteria as well. With the step-out point, Katoya still has, because in, he had his one two-point move as compared to the two one-point uh, moves by Odakadze, but 15 seconds to go. Odakadze giving all he's got here, trying to push for it. Ketayev on the cusp, but spins around and kills the clock again. And the Armenian just by the very slimmest of margins separates himself there and takes away the bronze medal. Excellent defense after the one offensive shot by Katoya. He went in defensive mode and just had an answer for everything Odakadze threw at him. Here we go. It's out. Well, there's confirmation for you for Armenia. Georgi Ketoyev completes the penultimate match here on the final day of the World Championship.